Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I've been wanting to do this one for a while. I looked into figuring out how to do it, put it aside. It was a little bit too complex for me at the time. Recently, I decided to pick it back up, read a lot of blogs, uh, still had some problems working through it. So I put this video together because I think probably you guys have the same problems I did. The guy behind it, Bora Bran, he's the genius. And so I'm just taking his concepts and applying them here, following what he did. I'm going to show you a couple tips, and then you'll be able to figure it out as well once you've worked through it. I've used this concept in other places. So this is the end result. Instead of bars, you're going to have icons. And even these icons here at the end are going to show you as partial, partial icons. All right, I'm going to use the Superstore sample data set. I'm sure I've got that wrong. I'm going to bring the category over to columns. I'm going to bring the sales over to rows. And so there's the bars that you get. We've got 742,000 for furniture, 719 for office supplies, and 836 for technology. So well, the first thing we need to do is we need to be able to convert this to multiple um, shapes or icons. So come under analysis and we're going to turn off the aggregate measures. So now we get a bunch of different ones, and you can see that each high, each uh, dot, each tooltip is going to come up with the sales for that particular order. What we're going to do, we're going to do a couple things just to help you understand what's happening along the way. We're going to create an index field, and then we're going to create another field that's going to give us uh, total sales. And so we're going to just do total sum of sales. You could also do um, window sum. That also seems to work. And we're going to drop both of these on the tool tip. So now when we hover over it, you'll be able to see total sales. It's 2 million. Well, that's not what we had before. And what we're going to need to do here is we're going to have to compute I'm going to show you this edit table calculations. And you can see right now using the help that it ha it's taking the total of everything. It's going across. And if we do specific dimensions, it's including the category as well. But if we go with cell, it's only looking for the sum and it's only it's looking at just this particular category. And so that's what we want. If you remember, there's the 742 we looked at. Each of these have the 719, 836. So we're going to need to do that same thing for index. Compute using and change that to cell. Now we're ready to get started. Um, previously, I've already decided with the 742 just to make it easier, 742 to 836. We're going to divide by 100,000. So each symbol is worth 100,000 or represents 100,000. So I'm going to call this the icon counter. And so I'm going to say if index equals or is less than total sales, total sum sales, then index times 100,000. I need to change this up here. Is that 100,000 or is that too many zeros? And actually, what we're going to need to do, this is going to be the key to the whole shoot and match. So we're actually going to add a couple things here. And what this formula is saying is take the total of all the sum of sales. Right, so that's going to get us to 742,000 in this category here. Then we're going to divide that by $100,000, or 100,000. That's going to get us to 742, uh, 7.42, right? And now we're going to do integer, which is basically just drops off all the decimals. So we're going to get 7. Now, when we do that, apply. And we're going to move the icon counter on rows. 
And what's the problem? We should only have seven. Well, we're going to need to come up here, compute using, we're going to change it to cell. And so now we have one, you can see here, it goes from 100,000 at the very, at the bottom of the tool, of the icon, the tool tip, sorry, 200,000, 300,000, 400,000, 500,000, 600,000, 700,000. But we don't have an icon for 800,000. Um, and what we need actually is we're going to have to change it. We need one more icon to cover that 42,000 and to cover that 19,000, the difference, and to cover that 36,000. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back to the icon counter and we're going to add um, a minus one. So what will happen is here index is 1. Up here, the index is 8. Now remember the formula. We're taking that 742, 742,000, dividing by 100,000 to get to 7.42. I should actually show you the... And let me blow it up a little bit for you. So first we're looking at the index is 8 minus 1, so that's 7. And then we're looking at the total sum sales, which is 742 divided by 100,000, gets us to 7.42. And then we're going to change that to an integer. So we drop off the decimal, we just get 7. So is 8 minus 1, 7, equal to or less than 7? And the answer is yes. And so we put down the 800,000 there. All right, so that's the, if you can understand that, then the rest is, I think you'll understand pretty easily. Because what we now need to do is we, as you know, we don't want to show 800,000, we just want to show 742,000. So we're going to actually duplicate this. And we're going to come here and edit. And I'm going to call this icon tooltip. And this is the same deal if it's above this, then it's going to be index times 100,000. And so now we're going to add a second one in. If the index, oops, minus one, so that last dot, right, that 800, instead of 800,000, We'll just actually come up here and copy all this. Apologize, I know there's a faster, better way to do this. Then, rather than having the index times 100,000, we want it to just be the total. All right. And that should do it. Okay, there's an error somewhere in here. What's the error? Expected close paren. Oh, missing a paren here. All right. You got that? So if the index is 7, so at 700,000, we're going to have 7 times 100,000, so it's going to be 700,000. When it's 8, it's going to come here. And rather than just taking the 8 times 100,000, we're just going to take what the total sum of sales. And let's see if we can grab that and grab this under the tooltips. And so now you can see that we've got the very bottom of the tooltip, 400,000, 400,000, 5, 6, 7. And it's not working. Why isn't it working? Well, we need to come in here. We need to change this compute using cell. Now you got 700, and now you have at the bottom 742, which matches the third one down, which is the total sales, 732, 719, 836. All right, so everything's working good on that. All right, so what we're going to do now is I want to change this so it's a shape. It's a partial. I've got another image I'm going to use. But before I do that, I'm going to create another helper field just for uh, visibility purposes. 
if integer if index minus one is less than total sales total sum sales then if it's total of this we're going to do this integer I need to do the hundred thousand I know it gets a little bit more involved I apologize then we're going to this is just going to be 100 else we're going to have it equal the total sum of sales and what this is supposed to be giving us is this function here something here oh can't have so rather than divide if you use the print this the, the percentage instead of giving the full value it's going to give you just the remainder let's see if I did this right all right uh, icon visibility hundred thousand oh, I'm gonna to have to change this to compute using cell and Let's get rid of some of this stuff here just so you can see it on the last on the bottom. Hundred thousand, hundred thousand, hundred thousand, hundred thousand, forty one ninety nine. And so what we want to do is we want to change that into a percentage so that we can tell if it's twenty five percent, fifty percent, seventy five percent. So we need to take that number times another hundred thousand. Okay, and so now we've got, and we didn't format it right. Oh, there it is. Okay, there we got the 42. All right, since we've already used that field, I may just use continue to use that. So we're going to say if if this value is greater than 0.75 then we're going to say we're going to just call this 7500k and we'll change this up here to 100k as well and what we're trying to do here is just create a category so that we can assign different shapes to it. All right, so now we've got that. And we've added new value to it, so we're just going to pull that off. We'll dump it on here again. And we need to make sure compute using tool. And I think we're going to have to add it because once you make any changes to the tool tips, uh, they become manual from that point on. It's a bit of a hassle, but as long as you know what's happening, it helps. All right, so that shows 100,000. That shows 25 to 50K, which makes sense. This shows 0 to 25K because that should only be the 19,000 left over, and that should show 25 to 50K. Okay, great. Now we want to assign a shape to it. Come to shape. Let's look at more shapes. And let's see here. We've got custom. I've loaded those previously. I'm not going to show you how to do that in this item. In this presentation, you'll have to look up a previous video. So we're going to grab this visibility icon and we're going to drop that on shape. And so now we can come and click on shape and we can assign the full factory picture to 100,000, the quarter to 0 to 25, 25 to 50 will be the half, apply the filter, 
and now you're starting to do you know formatting and in a case like this I would probably get rid of get rid of the header because as you saw the 800,000 was pointing at this item here and so then if you get rid of the total sales and you want to get rid of the index you get 600k 800k probably got rid of the wrong one so we want to insert tooltip and now you've got 600k 700k and 742k 719 and that is oh you may want to hide this and that is how you create the icon the first one it's the hardest one understanding it's this formula here you're trying to identify with the index um, again you know evaluating that against the total number of sales and then the other key things is compute using and I would use that feature edit table calculations because that will really help I always use it it's helpful for me and it'll be helpful for you as well make especially if you have multiple variables in here dimensions and then under analysis aggregate measures there you go